Hi guys, this is Andrea Cruz and I am your hostess with Mostess for Mind, Body, Heart, Soul Retreats. I'm also a psychotherapist and I meet with people individually where they are at. I would like to share with you a little bit of information about defense mechanisms. And, and just so you know, everyone has experienced a defense mechanism in their life. And it's that one thing that we do, our subconscious does, to keep our vulnerable side protected. For those who've experienced trauma growing up, or depression, or anxiety, or you've had conflict with someone that's been repeated over and over, it's very common for us to build defense mechanisms. One of the most common ones during conflict is stonewalling and repression. So what happens when um, you have so much anxiety or so much anger over conflict, sometimes you build up this wall and this wall happens to keep you from even acknowledging your feelings because maybe you love that person that you're in conflict with. So repressing your feelings is often what somebody does to protect themselves from even knowing that they're hurting. Another uh, defense mechanism which is really common is denial. Um, we're often in denial when um, somebody that is close to us has passed away or some or if even we have gotten sick we don't want to face the fact that that this terminal illness has the ability to take our life force away um, so denial is a very common one another common defense mechanism is another common defense mechanism is what's called projection and this one's uh, probably one of the most popular ones people understand what projection is and that's pretty much when whatever it is that you're dealing with that you feel is lacking in you for example I might think that I'm lazy and I procrastinate so much and I get angry at let's say my significant other who is sometimes lazy and procrastinates and so I get angry at him and that is projecting because those things that I would like to <laughs> Another common uh, defense mechanism is repression. A lot of times I experience this when working with children with trauma um, and because they have experienced something either really horrific or something like a separation or a divorce, they will tend to become more childlike. Maybe they'll wet the bed more or maybe they will cry more or tantrum more because they want the attention that their younger sibling will get. So that is a form of defense mechanism which is called regression. Adults can do it too, okay? Um, so there's lots of different defense mechanisms that I can go into further in another video, but I just wanted to share some of these more common ones with you so that if any of this rings a bell, then, um, and you would like to get some work with that or talk to a professional, I'd be more than happy to help you um, deal with some of these experiences that you may be having so that you can have a more self-actualized self life and get closer to what your truth and authenticity is. Working with your truth and authenticity is so very, very important when, when you have relationships. Please feel free to reach out to me. My name is Andrea Cruz. You can find me at andreacruz.net. Also, you can reach out to me at info at And I'd be happy to help you schedule a session. And you can ask me about how to schedule your first consultation for free. For free. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and have a really blessed day.